today i'm gonna try and make one of the hardest jewels or i think it is the hardest jewel to get just because it isn't one of those jewels that you can actually farm for like spell proof or spellify because those ones all you have to do is really just afk farm if you really want them that badly you just leave your pc on for the night and then afk farm like it's really not that hard to actually get those ones but the jewel that i want to get today is mighty it's an ultra jewel and you can only get it in like two specific ways. Like I said, it's not farmable. So one of the ways that you can actually get it is by training a mega pet up to ultra. It'll give you a chance of getting one of the 13 ultra like selfish jewels, which one of them is mighty. And this is specifically the pet that I do want to make it on. So I am going to train my pet to ultra just to see if I can get like lucky by doing that. And then the other way you can actually get the jewel is by crafting it using the rank four pet stats jewel recipe. The recipe for the most part isn't that hard like the heavenly bubble gum you can just get that from wisteria i'm pretty sure and then the opal i think you can just buy that anywhere but then the main problem is titanium this is dropped by like a bunch of mobs like when you're actually questing i think they start dropping from mobs in chrysalis and then like the rest of the world i'm pretty sure they do drop i'm not 100 percent sure on that but like I know a bunch of mobs do drop them. I think it's specifically just bosses though. I don't think actual mobs drop them. I could be wrong on that. But getting titanium that way isn't really the smartest way anyways. But yeah first I'm going to ultra this pet. Bro you guys know how many pets I've altered. And I've only ever gotten one mighty jewel. I'm pretty sure I used it on my myth pet. That I didn't really even end up using. So I'm kind of mad about that. Because I was going to do 99 myth. And then I just never ended up doing it. So that mighty jewel was kind of wasted. But yeah, you guys know how many pets I've altered, and I've only gotten one. So I'm not feeling super confident about altering this pet and actually getting Mighty off of it. But obviously, I have to alter the pet anyways, the socket on Mighty. So I might as well try that first. I got the pet one train away from Ultra. Actually, first, let me check if I do actually have jewel space. Because I don't want to do it and not have jewel space. Okay, 96 out of 100. So yeah, I don't have a Mighty Jewel. I know that for a fact. I'm just making sure. But okay, let's just train up this pet. I'm not really expecting to get it. It's a 1 in 13 chance, I'm pretty sure. Because I think there's 13. Actually, I'm going to look that up again really quick. So from the best of my knowledge, I do think it's 13 jewels that I can get. So one of them could be mighty. That would be super lucky. But let's just train up the pet. Wait, okay. I missed it. I can't even see it. Let's just check it early bird obviously it's a trash one too bro i have three early birds and i'm just never gonna use them all of those could have been mighty but none of them ended up being mighty which is so bad i have to be just getting unlucky at this point because all the pets that i've trained the mega and i've only ended up getting like one mighty jewel and i'm not even sure if that was from actually crafting it or if that was from altering a pet i'm pretty sure it was from altering a pet but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I have a ton of other ultra selfish jewels that just aren't useful. The only real ones that I think are useful are the 65 agility. The 65 mighty, obviously. It's not even mighty, it's strength. But then, and also the 65 will. I don't think the 65 power gives you enough for like the max stats on a pet. And then intellect's just trash. And if you combine the two, it doesn't give you the same result. So really you just need mighty or whatever specific talent you're actually going for that correlates with like your talents I guess. Now since I've altered this pet I'm going to try crafting them because like there's really no point on just altering pets that I'm not actually going to need at ultra. That would be just a straight up waste of energy elixirs and crowns which is just really not worth it. You guys saw at the start of the video I do actually already have enough titanium to craft one jewel. So I am going to craft this one and see if I do get mighty. I do have enough bag space right? I'm still going to make sure on that. I don't think you can craft the jewel without bag space. So yeah, I still do have 97 out of 100. So let's just craft it. Powerful. I think that's the um, 65 power, right? That should be what it is. Yeah, and I already have another one of those, which is just really not that useful. Yo, I also have all these resourceful ones, which just aren't good at all because it's intellect and power. That would actually be funny to see how many ultra selfishes that I have that aren't the ones that I need. Because there's so many. It's just kind of crazy at this point. I've done so many times and I just can't get mighty for the life of me. Now I'm going to do a method of getting titanium that I'm not 100% sure who came up with. But like I've seen people doing it for a long time so I really just don't know. But yeah you pretty much just buy these soft hoods and then you end up feeding it to your pet. And it gives you the chance of getting like all those rare reagents. Specifically the pet ones like brass and then steel and then silver. 
and then mainly the one that I need which is titanium. So you pretty much just buy a bunch of these, fill up your bag with them, and then feed them all to your pet. I filled up my bag and now I'm just gonna start feeding them to my pet. This is kind of what I did with the pet breadcrumbs, but it's not actually like giving your pet XP. I think it does give your pet a bit of XP because I was doing it earlier and my pet got like one XP every like, I don't know. Well, there he got one right there. So it wasn't that long, but like it's mainly just for the reagents. And it doesn't look like I'm really getting any good ones right now. Like scrap iron, that isn't good. Lava lily, that's not good. There, we did just get some brass. Brass is one of those good pet reagents, but it's not titanium like I need. So yeah, I just went through them all and now I have to buy some more again. I did do this last night and I ended up getting six, I think, in total. And I'm not even sure how long I was doing it for. So I don't know how long I'm going to do it for right now. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 8 to craft another one. But I do have another method to actually get some titanium. So I'm going to do this for a bit. And that will probably end up doing that. There, I finally actually got one. I'm gonna finish the rest of the ones that I bought just to see if I can get another one. I only ended up getting one and I did it for like five minutes. So this is definitely not the best way of actually getting titanium. The most efficient way is definitely using a trading discord like GDP. People are always just looking to buy and sell reagents on here like a lot of the time. So if you just put up a post asking to buy titanium, just like this person did, you'll be able to buy titanium pretty easily. Obviously using this method, you're gonna need empowers, which means you're gonna have to farm gold and actually buy empowers, unless you have other ways of getting empowers, like there definitely is a lot of other ways. But yeah, you're just gonna need to get empowers. If that means you have to farm for gold, then go and farm for gold. But this is definitely the easiest way to get titanium. So I bought some titanium. I think I bought like 17. However much it was, it brought me up to 20. I bought them for three empowers each, which I think isn't that bad. Because on the price sheet, it said two to five. And I know that's always like fluctuating, but like still, I think it was pretty decent. But yeah, I actually went and got some more heavenly bubble gums too. That's actually from the vendor in Marleybone. I thought it was from the people in Wisteria, but like I was wrong. So okay, now we have two chances to actually get mighty. I have enough bag space for exactly two. Okay, so let's do one of them right now. Please, I need mighty. Just give me mighty. Cautious. I don't even know what that is. I've literally never seen that one. Strength and will? It's not that good because it's split. When they're split like that, it doesn't give like the exact same effect as if it was just a 65 of straight either will or strength. So we're going to do the next one. Please give me mighty. Yo, yo, what the hell? That's actually insane that we end off on that. I'm obviously not going to put on the pet right now because it's on my balance and I need to put this on my death. But that's crazy. I did end up getting super lucky though because I only tried like four times and it's a 1 in 13 chance every single time. So like, that's pretty lucky. But I have tried multiple times in the past, so it wasn't just these four times. If you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.